What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. I mean, Mangia versus Gonzalo Coria. What do we think about this fight? 10 round fight happening this weekend. Let's get into it. Let's start with Jaime Munguia. He's back in the ring this weekend for the third time this year. And he's coming in with a record of 40 wins, no losses, and 32 wins by way of knockout. Now, Munguia gets a lot of slack for how many fights that he's had and the lack of competition that he's fought. And while we could go into that, and I want to touch on that towards the end, you can only fight who's in front of you. And everyone that has been in front of him, he has put them down. I think offensively, he has a lot of skills. He's a strong puncher, good hand speed. He's aggressive and likes to put the pressure on his opponents. He's got he's a good placement puncher, decent footwork, and a nice jab. And he really breaks his opponents down with the pressure and the power. Sometimes he does fight a little emotional, though, and he swings wide and he misses wide. And of course, if you miss wide and you're fighting someone who was a counter puncher, there's a good chance that they'll make you pay for that. I've seen Munguia in fights where I catch myself saying, man, this dude has the potential to be a world champion, right? Like when he fought Demetrius Ballard and had him hurt with that check hook, you always want to know, can can you close out the show when you have your opponents hurt? And Munguia did a great job of that. I think he's a good closer once his opponents are hurt. But I've seen fights where I think to myself, man, what's going on? Like, well, but maybe you're not destined to be a world champion. And we saw that in his fight against Jimmy Kelly. Right. The, before the knockout of that fight, Jimmy Kelly was winning that fight pretty comfortably. One thing about Munguia, though, he's got that type of heart and will and skill where that can help him erase some of the troubles that he's had in earlier rounds because he's not going to stop coming forward. He is not going to try to take you down. This man, he's got a heart of a champion. As skilled as he is offensively, defensively, this is a guy who is there to get hit. Not the best defensive fighter. His head movement has gotten a little bit better, but it's not consistent. Kelly gave him problems because he found his timing and his footwork and his counterpunching ability gave Munguia some problems. But he couldn't keep it up long enough and the pressure from Munguia was just too much. But I didn't personally think Munguia looked very good in that fight. Jimmy Kelly looked really good. But Munguia shouldn't have had all that problems that he had with Kelly in that fight. Perhaps Coria can take advantage of that against Munguia and be a faster starter and see what he can do this weekend. But let's talk about Gonzalo Coria, the southpaw. He's coming into this one with a record of 21 wins, 5 losses, and 8 wins by way of knockout. The last time that I saw Coria, it wasn't in good standing. It was against Janabek where he got stopped in the second round. Coria does not throw a lot of punches in the rounds. He's not a brawler. He's not a big puncher. This is a guy who wants to try and outbox you. He's going to try to fight on the outside and try and catch you coming in and hopefully counter punch you, right? He's not the aggressive type. He's not the pressure type. He isn't an imposing figure. He's got some skill, right? But it's not the skill that is going to threaten the top guys. He's not the most skilled guy, but to his credit, he is not going to back down from a challenge. But again, from what I've seen, there is no threat to Munguia. Munguia should stop Coria early in the bout. If he does, right, it's time to start putting him to the test. 40 fights is a lot. But if you aren't fighting the top guys, once you get to a certain point, they're always going to question your resume and the respect that you should get. Biting, he wins this fight. Man, I want to see him against the top guys and see how he has grown and where he truly is in his career. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning? Let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated. If you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find my social media handles on screen as well. 
Also, just did a recent interview in my podcast with Abraham Nova. We talk about a whole bunch of different things, including his upbringing, how he got to be the person he is today. And of course, for the first time, he talks about what happened in his fight against Robezi Ramirez. If that's something that you're interested in, I will attach all of the links below. And if you are over there, then I hope that you subscribe to the podcast for more content to come. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video, this on the do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.